Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. Hey, you're getting a two for this week because I'm feeling my shit. I'm in a full face of makeup and why not? I just finished a photo shoot with Jellyfish Jones. She's brilliant. She's an amazing photographer. You guys should check her out. Google her ass. So we're going to look at John Kelly. Now, uh, if you have seen some of the last videos I did, then you know I was like, Scaramucci's out. Rience, Rience, is that how we say his name? How could I can never say anybody's name? Well, I said his ass was out, he's out. So now we've got John Kelly, everybody's like, you gotta look at Kelly. I think this one might stick it in for the long haul, whatever that may be. If you are not a patron, and you're thinking about becoming one, you should definitely do it, number one, because it helps me out, number two, because it's super fun, but number three, I have quite a few videos on Donald Trump that I have not released to the public that are only available to patrons. So if you're interested in those, I dropped a couple of bombshells last week. You definitely want to become a patron and check them out. Now, I've been doing a lot of readings on Trump because it's been requested, okay? I said I'm not going to do it anymore. I said I hate it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to read this guy. I'm sick of this guy. I'm sick of the whole thing. And everybody was like, please don't stop. Please don't stop. So I, I always listen to my people. You are my people. And you, the majority of you said, please keep reading on Trump and everything because we're freaked out. We, we just, we, we need the comfort. We need, we need the laughs. Please just keep reading. So I'm going to keep reading on him. Before you leave a really nasty comment about me or what I'm doing here, look at this real person over here and see if you really want to hurt somebody today. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? I probably am wearing enough makeup to be like Boy George-esque, maybe. I don't know. I'm wearing a lot. Anyway. We're going to look at Trump, we're going to look at Kelly. As always, I absolutely, hands down, love intelligent and thoughtful discussion. I love differing points of view. I don't love it when people get mean or insulting. And those comments are deleted. Let's do it. Justice. Already justice. Already justice in the Nine of Swords. What do we got for Kelly? Oh shit, he might walk too. He might walk too, you guys. But I don't... It feels more like a maybe, not like a yes. Like, I knew, like, those people, I knew that Scaramucci was going to walk. I knew that Rance was going to walk. I feel like I'm saying his name really badly. This one, I'm kind of like, I don't know if he's going to walk, walk. I, I literally, before I sat down here, I stared at a picture of the guy for, like, an hour. Just, like, sitting there, like, okay, I got to I gotta get on him. Because you know what? Not easy to read. Other people are easy to read. This one, no, he's not. And I wonder if that's just because he's a general, military training... I did have somebody ask, and I can't remember who it was. Of course I can't. It was a patron. I don't think it was Elizabeth. might have been. But what do you think about Trump surrounding himself with generals? Do you think he's going to, you know, go for a military coup? I don't. Is this a new era in the Trump White House? No. So, here we are. This eclipse is showing up in every reading ever. I'm doing this on August 1st. You'll probably get it this week. Because I feel like doing a two for this week. So you're going to get... Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and Bill Cosby and this sucker. Uh, but we got the eclipse hanging over all of this. So this is eclipse energy we're dealing with, which again, like I said, I'm going to get into that. The Fool. He started his new jobby job. Maybe not yet, but we know he's starting the job. I, I know. I guess Scaramucci like, got fired before he even officially started his job. So anyway, the Ten of Swords in the back. The energy behind it is, is a turnover. It's a ten. It's a turnover. I've also got a ten behind him. Pentacles. So it makes me wonder... Uh, I don't want to say there's money here because I don't feel like this man's being paid or paid off or anything like that, but it makes me wonder if it's kind of a somebody, someone, it feels to me like somebody high up convinced him to do it. Somebody high up was like, no, 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 you got this, you got you got to do it, you got to do it, you got to handle this. feels to me, again, so this female is consistently showing up in his cards. I didn't show you last time, but here she is. It feels to me like there's a female going, I don't know, I, just mis I have misgivings about this. <laughs> I, somebody is saying, you didn't see everything, you don't see everything, you don't know what's going on. This thing came up quick. So he got this card last time. I don't know if I showed you, but eight of wands. He it came up quick. It was like bam, we want you. Okay, but he's wishy washy about it. He's really wishy washy about it. So it's still like, uh, should I stay or should I go now situation. But his end card is a hangman. So I don't think he's gonna go. I think, but he is thinking about it, and he's still already thinking about it. He already he's like, and I may have made a mistake here. I don't to see what's going on here. And I do want to remind everybody that once again. What you are looking at is a tarot card reading. It's a tarot card reading. I'm not saying facts. I'm interpreting tarot cards. It's a fun thing. This is not life or death. Did I tell you, by the way, let's chat a little bit. 
Mm -hmm. I knew his energy was changing. This eclipse in his cards too, you guys. Interesting. Okay, so Donald Trump right now, strength is now in his past. He was feeling very strong to me even just a week ago. Not so much anymore. The judgment is on him. Judgment is on him now. I think before it was coming up in his future. I'd have to go back because I've done so many damn ratings on the fucker. I don't know. But I'd have to go back and look. But judgment is on top of him. He's got a 10 below him. Something is ending for this guy. The hangman. Not quite yet, though. Not quite yet. And I wonder almost if it's literally like, okay, he's, he's hung himself with his own rope. So what comes next? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. There's a disappointment. He, he, it looks like he's going to keep working, though. It, working. But it looks like he's going to keep going. What do we have in his future? This eclipse. This eclipse is going to bring something. And, I, you know, the cards, I read on it. They weren't very clear. I'll release that video also very soon. Uh, but I know the eclipse brings something. I know that a lot of astrologers are saying impeachment and assassination and turnover and this and that and the other. Um, my cards are kind of like, something's going to happen. <laughs> I'll show you this eclipse means something. That's all I'm going to show you. Sometimes they give you the finger. It's just the way it is. So after this eclipse happens, our final card is the page of wands. We're going to have to sort out what we've got. We're going to have to sort out what we've got. So I want to look at Russia specifically. I don't think Kelly, you guys, I just, I don't see him walking. Uh, he may go down with the ship because he feels really tenacious to me. And it, it feels, again, he feels to me like, He's like, oh, I can do this, I can do this. And he gets in there, and the more he knows, the more he's like, I'm oh, son of a bitch. You know, not that he can't do it, though. Because I don't think he's the type that would say I can't do it. I just don't think he's the type to admit defeat. Probably why he's a general. Camera update. I still don't have one. I had one. I had to get rid of it. It wasn't the right one. Blah, 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 blah. Now we're going into Mercury retrograde, so we're waiting. We're just waiting on it. Uh, anyway, um, that Queen of Pentacles just came out again. She's just, every time I cut the card, she's there, so... All right, show me Trump Russia. What's what's going on there? Give me the energies there. Holy shit, y'all. Below we have, oh, the eclipse yet again. The eclipse is going to bring us something about Trump Russia. The cards are more or less saying he did it. The sneaky card. The card of secrets behind it. The energy behind it. Secrets. Collusion even with the two. Could read it that way also. The cards are saying he did it. But... It looks like right now, he's okay. He's sitting pretty. He's not going to get it. He's not going to get his spanking yet. It's not going to happen. He's sitting pretty right now. What comes next? Well, there's money. There's so there's a money situation. There's money about this. There's a money thing that goes on here that's already been speculated on. I don't think it's been proven, but it's showing up in the cards, which is very, very interesting. This eclipse is going to bring us something we don't know. It's going to give us this fourth cup. I don't think Trump sees it coming. It's showing me a disappointment for Trump, as far as Russia goes. It's showing me a, a disappointment, and then guess guess what else is showing me? Jared Kushner! Uh, I'm reading this as Kushner. I normally do see it as Mueller, which it could still be Mueller, but I, I read it as Kushner. Kushner, there's something going on with this guy. i got to look at this guy. There's something going on with him. I'm telling you, something's going to happen with this guy. I feel like he kind of went away, and but he's coming back up. I'm telling you, there's something coming back shit on me. You know what? That eclipse is going to get his ass too. Here it is. The eclipse. Here it is. The outing of the secrets. This is, uh, this card can also really speak to the moon as well because of what she's got on her head. So I do read it as a moon card. She's also got the moon beneath in her gown. Uh, he's still being examined. He's still being looked at. Things are still being looked at. Look, he comes back around. Listen, he's fighting. He's fighting. He's going to continue to fight. But also, Something comes back around for this guy. This Mercury retrograde might dig up a lot of shit on him. Something's come back around for this guy. Right now, and P.S., I didn't show you, but he's got a shit ton of pentacles on top of him, which to me says he's working on it, he's working on it, he's working on it. There's a lot of money involved here with this guy. This one, though, he feels like he could be in deep trouble. He might even go to jail. I know I said before, I said, oh, I don't see anybody going to jail. And now I'm looking at these energies and I'm going, oh, no, he might, he might there could be some form of imprisonment here, whether it's jail or he has to flee and he can't come back, you know, and he's like, Julian Assange, he's living with him in the damn Ecuadorian embassy, you know, they're playing backgammon and shit. I don't know, dude, I'm telling you, though, it just, it feels like a, like a constriction, like a tight constriction. But it's going to come out, it's not, you know what, this thing is still going to tease itself out really slowly. So, I read on Donald Trump, what do we have? He shows up in his own cards, there he is. We've got the um, topsy-turvy kind of stuff going on right now. Topsy-turvy stuff going on. Devil is below. 
I think the devil is part of it is information that we don't know because there is stuff I'm telling you there's stuff we don't know there's stuff this guy got up to that we it's gonna come out but it comes out very slowly it comes out very slowly that's what these two cards are telling you it's gonna come out bit by bit by bit by bit by bit now we have he's gonna sit pretty again for a while this is his next to last card so he's gonna sit pretty again for a while nine of Pentacles then what we have guys yes Survey says, so let's talk about this eclipse. We got two eclipses. We have a full moon lunar in Aquarius on the 7th. We have a solar eclipse in Leo on the 21st. This energy is cray. So I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I have had a lot of people lately say, God, Kirsten, you look terrible. You look awful. You're so tired. These are people on YouTube on my videos and stuff. Like, girl, you need to take a break. I'm getting emails, concerned emails from very lovely people and they're saying, you know, girl, I just watched the last video. You need a rest. You know, you need to take some weeks off. Yes. Uh, it's not just because I'm working my fingers to the bone, although I am. But it is also because the energies that are happening are insane. Okay? The energies that are happening right now are real rough. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but I mean that it is my, as an intuitive, I pick up energies and my body, my everything, my brain, my heart, everything has to catch up to the shift. Some of you will probably already feel it, especially if you're sensitive, especially if you're intuitives. I know that other intuitives watch this channel and thank you very much. Uh, but I know that there are, there are people that aren't as intuitive. There are people that are not intuitive at all. So it kind of trickles down. So people that are very sensitive like myself, we're going to feel it really early. And then the normie norms will feel it. And then the really, the, the people that are totally shut off from everything, they're going to feel it. They'll feel it last. They may feel it in a more harsh way than somebody that is attuned to it and accepting it. What we've got here, what is exhausting me so much, is that we have been on this energy, okay? And I would say I felt we've been on the same kind of energy probably since, I want to say September of last year. It's been really manic, and it's been a lot of fear. It's been really frightening. It's been a lot of nasty shit. It's like, it's like all the crap coming out of a cyst. Who here watches Dr. Pimple Popper? I am. I will watch that shit. And you know what's really gross, you guys? I will out myself. I watch that while I'm eating, and it doesn't bother me, which is really disgusting. My husband thinks it's the most disgusting thing ever. But anyway, it's like we're squeezing. Like the universe is squeezing. Like we got to get all this shit out of this cyst. It's like, we've got to get all the gunk out of here. So that's what's been happening, and we've been basically doing that for about a year. Maybe even a little bit longer. Other intuitives, you know, you guys might feel it differently. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Even if you're not intuitive, you're like, hey, I've been feeling this. Let me know in the comments. I love your comments. I love the nice ones. The mean ones suck ass, but the nice ones are fabulous. So keep them coming. But basically, I'm starting to feel the shift, and I feel a shift of energy moving against Donald Trump. It's been going for Donald Trump. The man has been Teflon for a very long time and I can feel the energy shifting. And it feels like, to me, honestly, it doesn't feel like people. It doesn't feel like collective people energy, although there is that. To me, it feels universal. And it feels like the universe is like, okay, you have served your purpose. We're done. That's what it feels to me. Everything in life serves a purpose. There's nothing wasted in this world. There's nothing wasted in this universe. So it feels to me like the universe is like, we're done with that. Whether that is astrologically or that is just weird shit floating around, whatever, it just, I can feel it. I can feel the tide shift. I can feel it change on Trump. I feel it change on the United States. I am not feeling it change on North Korea right now. North Korea, to me, feels like it's in some alternate universe where it's like, and eh, we're just going to keep doing missile shit. It's going to be quite some time before they, the shit that I'm feeling affects North Korea. And I say, I bring on North Korea because it's kind of a player in the United States and kind of the energy that's going on there. So what basically is happening is these eclipses, plus we have a Mercury retrograde, we have a Uranus retrograde, and we have Saturn going direct this month. That's a lot of shifting. You are going to experience a lot of shifting. You are going to experience a lot of stuff going in, a lot of stuff coming out. You're going to see stuff where you're like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is yet. I don't know what's going on here. That's okay. Go with it. Go with it, go with it, go with it, go with it. Resistance is futile, as we know. Don't resist, just go with it. Because I'll tell you what, and I've said this before, in my Patreon videos, I'm saying it in the weekly videos, is this is the universe cleaning your house for you. Maybe you don't want to have your house clean. Maybe you're a hoarder. Maybe you like all those cans of cat food in the corner. Tough shit. 
Let me tell you something. If you try to keep your, your, your dirty cat food cans, the universe is going to grab it out of your hands. Now, would you rather hand it over? Or even better, sit in your easy chair while the universe comes in and cleans that shit up? Or do you want to fight? If you want to fight, you're going to be in for one. I'm telling you. Because the energy is overwhelming. It is overwhelming. It is different than anything I've ever felt. We're definitely going up a level. We're definitely, I would say, when I say up a level, I mean vibrationally. I can feel it going, okay, we were here. We're going up here. Which is going to feel fantastic. But if you resist it, it's going to feel like shit. So don't do that. I'm, that is my advice to you. Don't do that. But anyway, the reason I want to say I've been looking so tired and haggard and, you know, is it's a lot of, it's just these energies are shifting and I will feel it on every level. And I'll feel it on a personal level. I will feel it in my family. I will feel it with my friends. I will feel it with my country. And I will feel it with the world at large and finally just universally. Like I feel it on all these levels. I'll feel it bodily. I'll feel it mentally. I will feel it emotionally. I'm getting it every which way. And it's a lot to process. It's a lot to deal with. It's just a lot. It's just, you know, even if you don't do anything, which I really don't, I mean, I just kind of sit there and go, okay, there's that. Okay, there's that. But it's still a lot. It's just a lot for the body and the mind and the intuition to handle. So if you are doing this, if you're feeling this, it's okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Just take a deep breath. And like I said, don't hoard. Don't be a hoarder. Don't be an energy hoarder. Don't be a people hoarder. Do not hoard. When these energies come through to clean out everything, uh, let it happen. Get the enema. Get the universal enema. I think when we come out of August, we get into probably the middle of September, the dust will settle. But August, it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be good and it's going to be bad. And you know what? Really, though, what it really is, it's neutral and you decide if it's good or bad. You are going to see a lot of trolls. You're going to see a lot of fear. You're going to see a lot of people coming out with claws. You're going to see a lot of people ready to bite. You're going to see a lot of people, you know, like wet cats, okay? That is because they are afraid. That is because they are afraid. That is because they can feel the energy shift. People don't like change. They don't like it. And especially, they get used to it. And they get, they get, you know, they put it around themselves like a blankie. Even if it's shitty. I like that. I'm used to it. So, these people are going to be taking it out on everybody. They're going to be taking it out online. They're going to be taking it out in traffic. They're going to be in the grocery line. Know that it's coming. You don't need to participate in it. You don't need to be a target of it. In fact, you can tell the universe, keep those people away from me, which I do frequently. <laughs> so uh, I just want you to know that. I want you to know that that's what this month is bringing. And it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. If you like this, you can give me a thumbs up. If you love my finger waves, which took me quite some time to do, by the way, you can definitely give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. Third Eye Champagne is a party. I constructed it that way. It's intended that way. It's intended to have fun. We're intending to have a good time and chill out together. That's what we're all about here. So I really do want you to join the party. I got your back this month. I do. I got it. I got you, baby.